We're going to paint this dresser today. This is our inspiration. We're going to turn it into a change table. We're going to use all CC Caldwell paints today because they're non-toxic. We're using it on baby furniture and we don't want any chemicals in the bedroom. We're going to cover up all this striping and we're going to make it pretty. We're going to be using all the colors in these fabric pieces today. This is my favorite. This is the color we're going to custom mix today. I don't want to see this color ever again. I don't really even like looking at it now. And so we're going to use some of the Beckley Coal because it's dark and it's really rich and it matches my elephants. We're going to use Simply White. We're going to custom mix Blue Montana Sky to Faye Turquoise. And we're going to make it so that it matches our colors. It's all non-toxic for the baby's room and it's going to match. And I'm really excited. Speaking of babies. It's so easy, even a baby can do it. Oh, you threw up. Awesome. All right. Before you use any of CC Caldwell's paints, we need to shake them up really well. These are all natural pigments and they settle to the bottom. When applying the paint, use different directions and brush strokes to ensure a textured finish. Wax or layered colors will settle into the brush lines and crevices to create a unique, distressed, finished product. We're going to use satin finish in between our coats of paint today. We want the satin finish to be on top because it's durable and we want our satin finish to be in the middle like a sandwich. Yeah. Paint, satin finish, paint, satin finish, clubhouse. And it'll be a really good protection for all the stuff that goes on a change table and wipeable and Lysol. Okay, set and finish. This is what it looks like. Um, Don't put your brush in here. It makes it stinky. You're going to put bacteria. So you're going to use this instead. It's I use it as a paint syringe. You can measure and make a recipe so that you can formulate whatever you want to formulate. Squirt it into a new container. I made this one a little bit big. You might want to not quite do what I just did, but that's whatever. And I'm putting it into a small Ziploc. I can put a lid on this and save it until I use it all up. That prevents my main container from getting contaminated. There's no preservatives in the satin finish. You open it up after not using it for a couple of weeks or a couple of months or six months and it's gone funky. And it's like if you left mayonnaise outside in the summer sun and then you opened it up it's bad and it stinks and I've done it. So you're going to take this and we're going to paint it all over. It looks milky and it's going to go on like it's milky but it's going to dry completely clear. Everything we just did to this dresser back here we're going to do to this drawer. First we're going to take off all of the hardware. You can paint your hardware with CC Caldwell paint if you wanted to. I want these to be a little bit more durable because they're going to be on a change table and well we don't know what's going to happen so we're going to go durable. After applying your base color, allow it to dry completely. It will be completely dry when it has a chalky appearance and no dark spots or shiny patches are left in the paint. Then apply a smooth coat of satin finish. Okay, your satin finish should be totally dry by now. Now you're left with just a bit of a shine. We're going to go in with our Simply White. Make sure you get really good coverage because otherwise you won't have the control to decide how much distressing you want or you need. Once your project is dry, you can begin distressing. For this project, I used a wet, two-sided kitchen sponge. You can use the abrasive side to remove the paint and the sponge side to wipe it clean. To create a custom mix, I played with different measurements until I created the perfect Pismo Beach Blue. Once the drawers were dry, I chose to use a clear wax on the insides and outsides on all of the drawers to cover the blue. I chose to use satin finish on the face of the drawer for a better protection. 